Hello everyone, welcome back to Construction on the Mills County Map. The job for today will be to build a gravel road. All of the equipment is at the job site and ready to go. Let's head on over here in our GMC pickup truck. Let's take a quick walk around here on it. It's a 2017 model crew cab with a 5.5 foot bed. And this does have that big old V8 here in white. A very nice spec with full leather on the interior. For today's job, we have been hired by a local farmer uh, to build a gravel road from the street to his farm. It's a pretty long road here for us to build, and uh, he previously had one, but the gravel kind of washed away, and uh, just a, a few days ago, he got stuck in mud and kind of said that's enough and gave us the call to do the job. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It's much appreciated as it helps out uh, the channel with the algorithms, and it lets me know you guys want to see more. Now I do have a lot more construction videos here in the works here, but whoa, this GMC is one sweet truck. I overall am a big fan of these and definitely will be using this here a lot more. Let's take a quick walk around here of all of our equipment. We have the old Ford 9000 uh, semi truck here. We have the uh, cat roller, the cat dozer, a case uh, front loader here. I, I don't think I've ran a case here in Farm Sim in quite a while. I think this might even be one of the first times here, which is pretty sweet. And then we do have a Freightliner dump truck here. Now we have 20 tons in the truck, and then we have three piles of 20 tons of 20, uh, 20, 20. So a total of 80 tons of gravel, three quarter inch. We will be spreading. Let's just kind of take a quick uh, kind of walk down there. So the gravel road starts here at the end of the streets and runs all the way back here. And as we are walking, I'm actually stepping in a little bit of mud in some areas here. There's grass grown, not too much gravel is left. And he said he uh, previously had uh, this road. Uh, put down with gravel about seven years ago so it's a long time i'm actually very surprised it kind of lasted this long but i think we'll first hop in the dozer get ripping i uh, rip up all of this because there there's definitely going to be some roots and uh, just a lot of uh, stuff that needs to be all cleaned up I'm really excited to be back here doing some construction. I do have a lot planned. I really want to do uh, kind of a project soon, maybe end of this week, early next week as well, which should be a lot of fun. I hope everyone's been having a great day so far, a great week uh, so far. Mine's been doing pretty good. I've been very busy with just projects around the house, but I'm actually using my brand new desk here for the first time, which is pretty exciting, and I think I will have a video coming up on it as well. So mainly today, we'll be just using the uh, back blade here. So we'll lift that up, and we'll get to ripping here. Look at this. This is so sweet. So probably four or five passes is all we really need. Now, I was thinking we could do this here with a wheel loader, but there's just so much uh, that needs to be ripped up, and the dozer will uh, do the job. If you do have any cool ideas here for upcoming videos on the channel, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback, and it's a lot of fun to respond to you guys here in the comments. Let's get turned around here now. I think we'll uh, switch between the views, but wow, uh, maybe even three, four passes is all we need. We'll just have to see and play by ear. I've been really excited to film videos, especially ones like this, but I think we'll do more public work soon as well. Oh, the dozers are uh, getting uh, thrown back and forth here by either side, so we do have to be pretty careful there. But this is one sweet dozer. We are actually renting this today, and I think we'll start a construction shop as well. I think that will be a pretty fun thing to do, but wow, uh, the dirt is just so hard, uh, so compact. It's just pulling the dozer uh, left and right here. Now I should have a setup video coming soon here on the desk setup as well, maybe towards the end of this week, early next week, uh, which I think should be a lot of fun here for us. Awesome, let's get this lifted up here and get turned around and see what will happen. We don't really want to be pushing too much gravel with this, but actually I do want to give this a try. This might be a little bit better than even the wheeled loader, so we do have options for equipment to use, which is always great. We'll get this drop back down here and continue. I definitely like this dozer here, and I really want to pick one up. This has a ton of power. Look at that. We are, I'm actually counter steering here with the uh, G29 steering wheel, and it's just pulling us. Uh, we're just uh, doing a pretty good job, though, I will have to say, uh, for kind of just struggling to maintain going in a straight line here. And lift on up. Perfect. 
Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite series we have here on the channel? I've gotten so many cool uh, series going. We have the landscaping, the homeowner series, and we do have the repo. I definitely want to do a repo video soon as well. We might do one this week, uh, but we are just doing such a great job here on this road. So I think I might run over the blade once or twice with this after this one pass to clean it up, and then we should be ready to go uh, to kind of spread the gravel. I hope everyone's been having a great summer so far. Let me know down below, guys, what have you been doing for summer? I've been going fishing a lot. I've actually been uh, catching quite a lot of bass, which is exciting as well. And I think we'll just kind of get this lifted up here. We'll just move the dozer uh, just here for a moment. And actually, I will see if I could clean it up just a little bit. I, I do want to give this a try. This might be a little bit better uh, to spread these big mountains of gravel. And here we go. I ran over it once again with the dozer, but with the blade, and it looks pretty good. So I think what we'll do here, we'll get behind both of these gravel piles, and we'll see if the dozer has enough to push it, and I kind of think it will. And if not, we'll switch over to the loader, uh, since the loader, I think, will do a pretty good job as well. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, what is your favorite piece of construction equipment? I was uh, kind of thinking, why don't we bring the excavator with the big grading bucket, but then I thought that that wouldn't be efficient. I always want to be efficient, get a lot done here in these videos, and I, that's something I really do enjoy doing. Let's see if we can push these big mountains of gravel here. We'll drop the blade down, and the blade's all the way down, really not scraping much. Wow, we are right up top the gravel pile, so this will take a try or two at the very least, and we'll give this a try. We'll do one more, and then we'll switch over to the uh, loader. I think the loader will do a better job. Now, I do have the real shovel mod installed as well, so that should give us a little bit of a hand. Yeah, the dozer's really not pushing too, too much here, so what we'll do is uh, we'll actually switch over. And we'll just park the dozer there for now, get it turned off, and hop here in the case. Now, like I have touched upon a little bit earlier, this is my first time getting to use uh, this case loader here in Farms, and we haven't really used too many wheeled loaders, and the ones we've used were deer and a caterpillar, so this will be awesome. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what uh, brands do you like as well for construction equipment? I think case is good, and cat, those are kind of the big two, and then we also do have deer. It might have been easier to leave the gravel just in the trucks. That's something we might do here in the future uh, because that's kind of seen and kind of what I'm thinking would have been a whole lot easier for us to do. It's easier you just lift the truck, uh, have the uh, dump bed going, and then you just kind of drive forward there. We'll actually do that trick here in a bit as well since we do have a full truck load. Oh yeah, here we go. We are pushing quite a lot now. Just have to kind of keep lifting it up. So we're making pretty good process here, but it is always uh, just a slow one doing it this way. Now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And I am working on a few big surprises as well. I really want it to be completely finished before I reveal it. And I think a lot of you guys will really like it. And I'm also working on a new farming series. I should be revealing it this uh, week is uh, my uh, target uh, week. Uh, so hopefully that gets done as well. Just lots and lots of projects I'm really just trying to get done in kind of share with everyone so we're making pretty good headway here not as much as what I thought we would get uh, done so far but that's fine sometimes these jobs don't go always as planned and that's kind of what I like about these videos as well let's see if we could scoop up some of this since it's a little bit wider than what we really needed and let's see if we could just kind of push it all this way perfect really doing a great job the real gravel mod allowing the bucket to really act like a uh, like a bucket in real life is helpful as well. We have so many cool mods here on the PC that it makes our experience here uh, in farm sim just awesome. Trying to just push all of it here, it's a little tricky, but we're actually making really good headway. Perfect. Yeah, so there's going to be lots of cleanup here on both sides of uh, the gravel road, but uh, wow, the farmer should be able to use this today once we get it all leveled out, and we'll, we'll run the uh, cat uh, grater over it as well, which uh, will be good. 
Now we do have the cat roller with us to get the gravel compacted, which will be perfect as well. That's definitely a necessity when doing a gravel one. And I'm doing a pretty nice push here with quite a lot. Wow, let's see how more we how much more we could do. Doing a really good job here on this one, doing a pretty long one. Wow, uh, we are doing really good progress here on these last few uh, bucket loads that we've been doing. Drum dumping a little bit more here in some areas, but really want to see if we can clean up uh, this edge here. will be a really nice area uh, to make clean. Now working here with the building materials mod as we are doing is a bit tricky and sometimes it doesn't always go as planned and we need a nice empty bucket uh, for that it looks like. Now I've done quite a lot of road building videos in the past here. I do want to get an asphalt paver. I think that would be a sweet mod to add here for us. That would be a ton of fun. And uh, there was one in the game, but it just keeps crashing every time I go to use it. So hopefully we get one that works. Let's see if we can clean this up here. It's almost like we need uh, to not have a full bucket every time I go to give it a try. And perfect. So I think we'll just leave this right about here for now. We do have quite a lot done here. Look at that. Pretty decent job so far. Uh, when we do drive over it with the roller, it will do a good job as well. But let's hop here in this truck. Let's get it turned on and back the uh, freight liner all the way down and actually see how far we could bring the gravel. I'm very surprised at how much we've done so far. It is always tricky uh, working with these uh, types of mods, but we've uh, done a very nice road. Wow, it looks awesome. As we do drive on it, it should even itself out. We don't want to get stuck here. We just want to do the uh, dump and go trick. Perfect. We'll keep dumping. This is a way that I really want to build roads so much easier. And it does an even nicer job as well. And we'll stop dumping. Let's get turn around. Hopefully we don't get stuck here in the field. That won't be a good thing here for us. That definitely would be a heavy record coming to help us out if that happens. Now I think it would be pretty cool to try a heavy rescue video but also using a dozer or like a front loader, things like that to kind of help us get unstuck. I think that would be a pretty neat thing to do. Now I did dump just a little bit extra down there as well so that should be helpful uh, for us as well. And perfect, I think we'll do one more truckload back here uh, and then we'll just kind of spread it out and wow we are getting pretty close to finishing the project. I really like finishing projects the same day we start the jobs. I think that's just the easy way to do it. That way we make the most money here with the company and you guys get to see a finished product at the end of the video. Oh yeah, definitely having the dump trucks this way would have been a whole lot easier here for us, but uh, you definitely learn as you go through jobs and we'll uh, do that coming up now. Having uh, two more, two, three more trucks sitting around at the job site isn't always the easiest thing to kind of plan out, but wow, we've done quite a lot. I really just want to kind of clean this little bit up and I will clean that up and then I think we'll hop on the uh, roller and get going. And I'm just finishing up here, just kind of driving over, trying to scrape up the last little bit here. So what I think we'll do is we'll just kind of move this off here to the side. We'll leave a little bit here in the bucket so that uh, we can kind of fill in any low spots here as we kind of go through it with the roller. I'm actually really excited to be on one of these rollers again. These are a ton of fun. This is a CB44B uh, roller, which is great. We'll get it backed off here and it should work. And wow, this road is a pretty big one. I would probably have to say this is probably 200, uh, probably 200 yards, I will uh, probably estimate. This is a great start here for us. You guys can already see as we drive over it uh, just the first time. Let's go down the center, one on either side, and then we should be good. Wow, bouncing around just a little bit, but you guys can see it is working and it is compacting and spreading it out, which is great. Now I did leave a little bit extra down here as well, which is a good thing, and as we drive over it, it will level itself out. Now the farmer will definitely be able to get down here without getting stuck, and uh, he'll be able to get the tractors, even uh, probably semi-truck when harvest season comes around as well. I'm really excited though to get a new farming series going and just for all the videos coming up, the homeowner series, the landscaping, all of those are just going to be a lot of fun and can't wait for them. Oh yeah, the more and more we drive over this, the better and better uh, this road will get. 
And I think this will be a perfect place here to call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed a construction video here on the Mills County map. The gravel road is just about complete here. We ought to use quite a lot of cat equipment and the case wheel loader. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.